What do they think I do, really? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, right on. What up, guys? I'm back. Yo, to the yo yo. Um, so, lock my bike up. Um, the best thing I can think of to do, other than, um, you know, get like a, a solid sheet of metal, just cone off your bike under it, which doesn't happen. Um, anyways, so I found this uh, AGP Tech. Um, this guy right here. I think it was like 20, 25 bucks on Amazon. Super cheap. Um, so, demo review. Does it work? How loud is it? Um, you just one click it, right? You gotta wait. I think it takes like 30 seconds. I don't know. Give it a sec. Or I'll skip. We'll see. Um, stop saying it um. Okay. Tap, little tap, little tap, little tap, little tap. There we go. Is it loud? I don't know. I got my earbuds in. So. It's loud without earbuds. I'll tell you that. Um, they're just unlocks, piece of cake. One thing I like about it though is um, it's got a crazy key. Crazy little key. So that's nice, just, you know, one extra thing to pick. Um, I'm gonna go down to the ground right now, show you um, a good spot I like to put it. Um, so yeah, we will be right there. All right, I guess we're back. See, doing good. So there is, um, this right here hooks onto your fender. So yeah, one more thing to take off. And then I notice you can slide it right up in there. Get it down. Boom. Stuck in there. So now it's in between a rock and a hard place. Pretty good. Pretty sensitive, you know? So somebody runs, bangs, I don't know. Is it gonna work? It worked, okay. Bada boom. Not too hard to use. That's a pretty good spot for it. Can't really get it in here or anything. I mean, you can just snag it on the back if you have to, you know, which, whatever. One more safety measure. So, not too shabby. All right. So, that's about it for this thing. Um, I rate it pretty good. I think it's pretty good, you know. I mean, it's decent. I like it. It's heavy. Um, pretty easy to get the battery. Take it apart. Um, yeah. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to take it apart when it's on a bike like that, that's for sure. So, all in all, definitely good investment. So, there's that one. Next review is for everyone's favorite, the one you've been waiting for, the big Lufu. Right here, baby, this is the one. What was it, I think 70 bucks after tax will get you this bad boy. 11 millimeters thick, test that. Boom, we got it right here. Holy shit, it's thick. Uh, I got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 millimeters. Damn, so 14 millimeters thick. All right. Do I need to, do I need to check it? I don't know why I said 11, my bad. This is kind of hard. There you go. <laughs> I just noticed my battery died in this, so my bad. But it's got an analog, so we're good. Um, so, what do I like about it? It's awesome. It's high tungsten. It's huge. It's great. I mean, the 70 bucks is worth it just for the chain, which is why I went for this one. And yeah, is it huge enough? You gotta get the four foot or five foot. I mean, I believe that's what this is. Because, yeah, wrapping around the front tire, the frame, whatever you get to, you know, you need you need a little bit of room. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, definitely at least get this one. And I 
have to get a key. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Key. Um, set on again. So the chain is amazing. I love the chain. The lock, however, complete garbage. But like, like I said, for the for the price, the the chain is worth. It. Um, let's get a close-up view, I guess, and I'll show you the unlocking procedure for this lock. Okay. We're back. How does this look? This is pretty good, right? There we go. So, it's pretty lame, as you can see. Look at this. I don't know how many that is. That's like four little things in there or something. But you gotta kinda jiggle it in there. See the key. Jiggle it, oh, it went in more. Jiggle it around, okay, there we go. Got it undone, yay. And then here's this guy. It's big and thick, but like I said, I just don't like the key and stuff. Like, just garbage, look at that. I can't even get it locked half the time. There we go. Now she's locked. And this is plastic. So. I think they just threw the lock in there for free. They give you a big hefty lock. And, you know, they toss it in there. What you paying for is the chain. <laughs> there we go, I got it. Okay. So definitely worth it for the price of the chain. Uh, the lock, however, pretty garbage. So all in all, I'm going to say that is a win for the big Lufu because like 70 bucks or like a 14 pound, 14 millimeter gauge, you know, basically, you know, they're going to have to grind for it. So there's that, and then we got this guy, it's good. Because we all want our e-bikes to be safe. That's the main thing, the drawback that I was worried about, locking it up somewhere. So at least with that, I had some sense of security, you know, I don't know if somebody needs to invent, you know, like, a, just a big strap-on bar or something that just locks together. You know, and like, e-bikes should come equipped with the, the power on here to be off, and then like a, like a seven-digit code to make the motor move. Otherwise, like, the battery should like, keep it stopped or something. You know, it needs to be something like that. <clears throat> you know how the line bikes do it? I don't know, you know? I mean, their shit does get stolen, I'm sure, but, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's it um, for my two reviews. I love the big Lufu, like I said, gotta get another lock for it, but, you know, spend 30 bucks on a good lock and buy that for now, you know? You're good, right? Hell yeah. Bro, shit. <laughs>